World of Warcraft is one of the biggest games of all time in this world. But how did it become the game that we all know so well? Undying, so strong, still after almost 20 years after its release. Well, I will be jumping into this game for the first time in my life to find answers to these questions and see what World of Warcraft does better than most games. Fuck is that? This is gonna be our guy, Brogler, uh, a little rodent. He looks like a rat. He actually looks like a rat. And, well, the pink suits him, I suppose. Now, clearly, we have two choices here. It's Exile's Reach. This place kind of resembles Path of Exile's starting area. You know, a beach, everything like that. So, we're going with the uh, obvious choice here. And, well, so it begins. The recent political upheaval in Ironforge, the gnomes have suddenly found themselves unwelcomed guests within the city. That is enough. I want to play. Now. Well, that is a very accurate representation of our main character here. Look at him. We spawned into the world for the first time just now, and he already stinks. Oh, he is an. He actually is the embodiment of a rodent. So, yeah, here we are. And uh, welcome to the world of Warcraft, I suppose. Let's talk to Nevin. Uh, he's got a quest for us. Okay, yeah, it is a quest. Okay, so first quest. Let's see what do we have to do here. Let's see. My name is Nevin Twistwrench, and I'm the commander of the Survivor Assistance Expedition. Please go murder six crazed leper gnomes for money and experience. We're basically a mercenary. So I went out and killed my first enemy, and he got dropped. And oh, okay, all right, I like that. So I just kept killing, and of course, well, plundering. Damn, man, you are very serious. Look at his little face all screwed up. That's what I call a shit-eating grin. So after a bit of farming, of course, well, we completed our first quest. You have a great day now. So he decided to give us a new one, which of course that we are going to take. Thank you. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, this guy isn't too happy to see us. Yeah, he he's not happy. It's not that bad. Relax, man. So the quest is basically pretty simple. We just have to uh, we have to save some survivors. That's one, and we found another one. Yep, you're free. Go ahead, and that is I think the last one we need. Yep, and uh, yeah, that was. So quest done. Simple, easy. And more money, more experience. Great. Oh yeah. Also, we got the level up. Nice. So we're just carrying on here to our next quest, and. Yeah, we need to get rid of that. Just some extermination of local filth, including this. You know, more plunder, more loot. We have to get rich. Thank you. So, yeah, we arrived to our next quest, and that's Gaffer Coil Spring. We've got us something to do. So, before we actually go on the upper world, he's gonna get washed. Decontamination is the quest name, so I guess that makes sense. Let's wash this rat up, this filthy rat. And, uh, wow, we got, whoa, we got geared up while we were getting showered. We actually got geared up. Look at it. Look at it. So, the real question now is, can we survive and get out of here? Let's find out. And yes, we actually did. We got a cool new sword to use. Look at it, that is cool. We get more quests, we do more quests, we get into the world more, we started to explore, we started to immerse ourselves in the world of World of Warcraft, and before I even noticed it, I had already completed 10 quests. I got into my first battles out there, I did even more quests, and then it hit me. <laughs> so far, I fucking love this game. The world actually felt alive, it felt interesting to explore and do these things like just killing random enemies, looking at them, doing whatever really, meeting new NPCs, doing more quests, getting to harder enemies, you know, testing yourself, leveling up and getting increasingly more rewards, wandering into the cave for the first time and meeting somebody to do the cave with together, you know, a real player. And that, I think, is what kept me going for these f hours that I just kept playing and playing. It never got stale and it never got boring. And this quest and this big enemy that you think is, oh, it's gonna be hard. 
in the end, it's so satisfying to actually finish it. Now, I have only been playing for a couple of hours and I already cannot wait to play it even more. To see these adventures, to experience the game from zero, not knowing anything about it. Can't wait to do the dungeons, raiding, level up, reach end the game, you know, earn something nice, get some cool loot. And experience the actual world, its lore, its motives, the factions, everything about it that is here. I can't wait to actually do, and I think... We are in for a big, big adventure here. <laughs> Brogler, I don't think that this guy is gonna retire anytime soon, and I think that there's so much yet to see and do, I can't even comprehend how much there is. So yeah. With all that being said, we still gonna keep playing, we gonna keep leveling, we gonna keep murdering, we gonna keep plundering, and becoming more rich, more powerful, and we're heading for the end game. How will we get there? I don't know, but that is the ultimate goal. We need to make this little rodent legendary. We need to give him some good armor, some good cool loot, legendary, as rare as you can get. And that is, well, <laughs> let's go. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the like and uh, hope you actually enjoy the video. And, well, see you in the next one. Cause this adventure ain't close over. Oh, <laughs>